Hey guys, Drew Prindle here from Digital Trends. We're here at IFA in Berlin, and right now I am standing inside of what is probably one of the most advanced 3D scanners in the world. Come check it out. It's called Bot Scan. It's made by BotSpot. And it's essentially a cylindrical room with walls made up of lights and cameras. They're just everywhere. All the cameras are strung together and uh, uses a technique called photogrammetry. So at the press of a button, all of these cameras are going to go off all at once. All of that's going to be stitched together to make a very, very pinpoint accurate 3D model of me or anything else. The cool thing about this is that it's modular and expandable. So whereas most 3D scanners are just something that you wave in front of somebody or around them, this thing envelops you and it can be expanded to fit any size of object. You could shoot people in here, cars, pretty much anything. Now the amazing thing about it is it creates such high resolution scans that they can be used for just about anything. You could use this for medical purposes to say scan a person who needs a prosthetic limb. It could also be used for animation, for making games, making VR, motion capture, filmmaking, architecture, pretty much the sky is the limit with this thing. So the cool thing about this is whereas most scanners that you'll see will use laser technology, which is relatively expensive, this uses just a bunch of DSLR cameras. So it keeps the cost down a little bit. So just to give you an idea of the level of detail that this scanner can create, these are 3D printed models that were made from scans that were taken inside the bot scan. And as you can see, they are basically photorealistic 3D representations of people that were standing inside of them. Every little wrinkle in the clothing, every slight variation in skin tone, it's all there. And that's because of the technique that this uses. It's called photogrammetry. And that's something you don't get when you're just using lasers. So this is something that you probably aren't going to use yourself, but in the next few years, if not sooner, you're going to see things created by it.